Hey everyone, this is Hippy Dippy. Now then, we're going to do another anime review. Hanako's Note. It's sub as 12 episodes, so you can't watch in dub. Let's go with the f six main characters in this anime. The main character is a country pumpkin. She has trouble talking to people, so instead of talking to people, she used to be a scarecrow. So they And the funny thing is that the farmers... That were making her the scarecrow. Paid her with. You know. Vegetables and stuff. That's Countryside 101 right there. Although the last anime was a Countrysider. She was paid for. For being a scarecrow. She was actually good. Because all the animals flocked her. And they she used to talk to animals. That's weird in itself. So then she moves to Tokyo. The. Be a person in theater. So that's the whole plot of that. She wants to be in theater. And she's really good at that. But really bad at talking to people. But she's really good at singing. And you know popular demands. And stuff like that. Here's the problem I have. With the main character. First off. She's kind of like more generic and stuff. So it's not like it's like. She's bad and stuff and like that. But her character development, she never develops as a character as the anime progress. She still has the same issues over and over again. But when she does play, she's phenomenal. And she talks normally to everyone, which is perfectly fine. The second character, I'm going to call her the stalker because of the fact that she likes the landlady. She's like in love with her. She knows everything about her. There's a side plot between episode between episode one and five where she hates the Hanako because of the fact that the is giving her so much attention to Hanako because she does live with her. Three characters live with each other, but she hates her, so she tries to one up her, and then it backfires because Hanako is too fucking stupid. So she so she tells them. She tells them. She thinks that she's friendly, kind, and nice. So that's another thing. Other than that, though, she doesn't really pop up anywhere. She's usually more for a comic relief and stuff like that. Third character is my, one of my favorite characters. Is the girl who likes to eat a lot. You will know who she is. Because the first episode, she starts eating pages from a fucking book. I don't know why she wants to eat pages from a fucking book. It makes no goddamn sense. But it's pretty fucking funny, to be honest with you. It's really fucking funny, actually. So, page... The, the anime is really good. You know, it's like one of my favorite characters. Her plot is that she likes to scare the shit out of people. And she likes to tease everyone. Which is pretty fucking funny. She also works the bookstore. Because... She, all three characters, all four characters live upstairs except for the stalker because she lives by herself. But all the four, all the three characters live with each other and she's just, and there's a bookstore down below and also a maid cafe. Both are connected between their apartments or something like that. I don't know. But she works at the bookstore and she likes to eat pages to it. The third character works at the maid cafe, and she's a doll, basically. I'm going to call her the doll because she's she looks like a princess, and they make fun of her because she looks like an elementary school kid, which is pretty fucking funny. Um, there are jokes where she's like, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And the fact that she has, um, uh, she has moments where she's like this, like, you know, she's going to punch it. No, she does not. She gets... Her problem, her problem is, is that she gets too embarrassed, even though she looks cute. She doesn't like the attention towards her, and she's too fucking shy, just like our main character, Hanako. But the only difference is that you know, she gets shy when you act. She doesn't like acting. She's Because when she's, like, in the maid cafe, she's talkative. She's, like, you know, being, like, motivated and stuff like that. Well, she doesn't like to do theater of acting out where there's a large audience. So there's that. Okay. The fifth character is the landlady. She has big boobs. Just like Hanako does. The other three characters does not. She's the landlady. She like, She's the person. Who, who, who she wants her to. um uh, 
she helps out everyone because she's part of the theater club and she, Hanukkah wants to do something in theater. I thought there was a joke in the beginning of the first episode thinking because Hanukkah likes to talk to animals and they communicate with her and she understands it. She made a joke that she should, she's in her mind that she should be in the circus. It was pretty fucking funny. Um, <laughs> but she acts like a freaking mother towards everyone else in the room, even though the girl who act, looks like a fucking doll is the oldest one in the group, which is weird. I don't understand that. Because the landlady and the doll don't are not in the same classroom. Because they're all high school students. So, yeah. The stalker, the girl who likes to eat, and Hanako are all in the same class. So, the other two are not. So, yeah. But, they make fun of her. I mean, the landlady is, like, the more reasonable person. She has a brain. But everyone loves her because she's too fucking nice. So, yeah. There's that. Um, oh, also, before I get to my sixth character, the doll likes to dress up everyone. She likes to dress up everyone in this, you know, perverted, you know, perverted freaking costumes like a bunny rabbit, freaking, you know, sexy bathing suits and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? Well, that being said, though, now we're going to get to our sixth main character. And, oh, boy, where do I begin? All right. Before I start, before I explain that, the last character, the plot of the whole anime is that these five characters, well, four of the characters, are trying, are trying to, trying to, um, uh, how do I say it? They're trying to, they make a new theater club with just the four of them, and the maid, and the maid doll, she, works behind the scenes so that way they can have enough members to, you know, coexist. The only plays that they do the only plays that they do are at the cafe and they only do two, which is a Christmas Carol, you know, the Christmas episode. Which by the way, they have a real live deer doing this stuff, which is fucking funny. <laughs> Cause Hanako can convince an animal to talk she like Hanako likes to talk to animals and they understand each other, which is kind of fucking weird, but you know, whatever. Um and they also do a place to show her mom that she's perfectly fine. Even though her mom's energetic and stuff like that, she's only there for one episode, so I don't really count her. They're trying to make sure that she does it. Now, in the beginning of the beginning of the season series, um, she she starts humming, and the character that I haven't explained, she notices it, and she. Wants her to sing. And she sings beautifully. And everyone's like having like. Awesome she should be the main character. And she does get the main character job. That's when the stalker tries to. Ha try to one up her all the freaking time. And it's pretty fucking sad really. But then she lightens up. And I'll explain that. You'll have to watch that when that plot comes in. Now then with that being said. I thought the last sub anime was ridiculous enough where the 11 year old lady has big boobs. But I was fucking wrong. I found something that's even fucking worse. Okay. First off, why the fuck. Alright, here's the problem with this. First off, the, f the last character I'm going to explain it. She's, there's two things that I don't understand. First off, she's a nine-year-old girl with big boobs, okay? She does have big boobs for some reason for a nine-year-old. That's weird. And secondly, how the fuck does a fucking nine-year-old be a fucking advisor for a fucking club? She's nine fucking years old. I mean, seriously. At least I know her mom has big boobs, but she's a mother. Of course she's going to have big boobs. Why the fuck does the kid have to have big boobs? She's, fuck, she's not even in the fucking, she's not even fucking double-digit numbers for Pete's sakes. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? Oh my god. But because of that reason, I'm giving it a 7. I love the comedy. I love everything else. I just don't like that character. The plot is pretty much the same thing. They try to do theater stuff. Blah, blah, blah. There's no side plots. They just run through the middle. There's 12 episodes. Soundtrack, okay. Although the fucking main, theme, main opening is fucking annoying as shit. And it's going to get stuck in my head for the, rest of the, for the rest of the week. 
which is bad because it's Sunday. So, yeah. Welcome to my world. Um, so, yeah. That's what happened. So, I'm giving it a 7. Um, it deserves the 7. I would have knocked it up slower, but there's one episode that I absolutely love. Well, one scene I absolutely love is the fact that Hanako got sick once, and the two characters that eat a lot in the stalker, they try to make her feel better. The freaking girl who eats a lot, she decides to scare the shit out of her with three, I think, three costumes. One dinosaur, one stuff, and I forget the third one. And the stalker likes to, um, uh, she tries to do evil spirits. Like, the, like she's got, like, she's waving a freaking stick with papers all over, and then she has a crystal ball, and it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Especially when the landlady kicks them out. It was pretty fucking funny. I, I laughed my fucking ass. I laughed a little bit. Behind that, that was fucking awesome. But I get to seven. Um, structure wise, when it comes to the length of the anime, it's twelve episodes. But I feel like that it, the first three was like good, and then it trickled off a little bit from five and six, four, five, and six, seven, eight were better, and then the ending was kind of half-assed. But I didn't really care because I thought it was okay. But yeah, I think the only I only disliked one episode, and that's only because I don't really remember. I know it was in the beginning of this, so I think it was like episode four or five or something like that. But yeah, I'm giving it a seven. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. I'll upload the freaking video on of of me recording another video game, which should be fun. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care and stay positive. Always stay positive. If you don't stay positive, then why the fuck are you living? No, I'm joking. But if you are being negative, be positive. Always be positive. I'm always positive. Yeah! Oh, yeah, and I also shaved, too, so I look like a fucking 18-year-old kid.